Hello and welcome to another update video about VAI, one of the AI coins and one of the uh, interesting ones, uh, specifically one of the ones that we've uh, followed within, well, on our channel, but also specifically within our membership. Um, VAI did already perform well between November 22 and February this year, then moved down in this ABC structure. I can take the micro count out now, to be honest, in this ABC structure reached already our, let's say, long-term support area and then rallied in. Yeah, um, I don't know how to call that. It is not the clearest structure at all. Yeah, it looks a bit like a running flat in the wave two. Surely there will be a lot of different interpretations, but the idea was that we are forming a wave two and continue with our trend higher in a third wave. Can't remember what I said in the last video. Well, it was certainly something bullish, but I cannot remember if we already talked about the support levels, I did not rewatch the last video, but I just uh, updated VAI recently um, for our gold members. And in these updates and signals, I specifically mentioned that trend continuation is expected, but that the pullback seems to become extremely shallow. And yeah, we did not see it come back into the support area. So it actually followed that idea. And, you know, that's not really predictable, but it seemed like it would become a really, really pulley, uh, pulley, fully, fully, um, shallow pull back, right? And the reason is that we just didn't see it come down lower. Also, when Bitcoin corrected, it was just consolidating on a very, very high level. Um, and therefore, I am counting this as a running flat, but probably even, probably even a WXY structure. But it's difficult to say where exactly the low is due to this messy structure that we've seen here. Either way, it's not so important, this micro counting. As I always say, we need to understand where is support. And as long as support is holding, and this was the box, so basically bullish until the price uh, would break below 5.5 .5 cents, but it never even got closed. And we didn't see it come down, so that's why I mentioned, you know, be on the side of caution. Um, the pullback may just be extremely shallow, and sometimes sometimes they do that. I think over time, you know, you develop a little bit of an, an you know, an, let's say an eye for... Uh, these charts that just don't want to come down. Um, at least the potential was there. You can't, you can't predict this, right? You, you know, it's an unusually shallow wave to pull back. I can only highlight when it looks as if it would be a shallow one, and it seems to be following that. So obviously now we broke out, and it seems like it wants to reach higher. That, you know, takes us to the question: Okay, how high can we now go? So. First of all, the overall context of this chart is obviously not, not great, um, but we obviously saw a five wave move up and that three wave pullback, which means we can give it a chance. If we give it a chance, we first of all explore now this structure. I mean, this can take it to crazy levels. I mean, I've mentioned that before. Uh, VAI is a coin that um, has a lot of potential due to these extensions. Um, However, is it, you know, is it something I would focus on? You know, would, would I want to tell you now this is going to go to $30? I mean, it, it is based on the projections on the chart, but that's not a moon target I would promote. These are often not reached, these crazy moon targets. We only have them on the chart so we can, you know, use them for our projections or for the lower levels as well. We just basically need to have those FIB levels on the charts and use them and also the wave labels to put those um, yeah, wave extensions on the chart and everything. But um, basically to find areas for confluence. But basically what we have on this chart is this one, two setup. And it's now moving up in this third wave. Typically, I mean, the, fir the ver very, very first level I would really pay attention to. Um, and it already, the, the problem already is here, you know, where do I, put the fibs because I haven't got a very clear micro count but you know if if I use them like that then the very early like the earliest target really that is key for the third wave would be 50.2 cents and then it could even stretch higher to 79 um, so there is a realistic um, rally ahead you know it's a realistic expectations as long as the wave too low is holding and that was here at 11.5 cents. So that is the key support level. Below that level, you know, things are going to look different. But um, see, due to the micro count, I can't even rule out that this is maybe, you know, that, that some kind of a one, two, I don't know, three, four, five. We only, 
we're only now putting in that wave one. You know, it's difficult to say, really difficult, but I can count already five waves up. That's the, that's the thing. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. Um, with coins that don't give you a lot of precision on the charts, I would usually just operate on a larger time frame, not be so bothered about, you know, the smallest fluctuations. So this is an, an ideal chart to put a little bit of money in or to maybe have put some money in a little bit and just let it grow, you know, without being too bothered about the microstructures. I know a lot of you are, but that's just not the way, you know, because you can't find the answer in that chart. Yeah. Um, okay, but let's assume, you know, we're now moving up in these five waves. Um, circle wave one. What would actually be a key target for circle wave one? Now, typically we're looking for the area around the 61.8 extension of the larger degree first wave and here we already talk about 51 cents so this is where we find areas of confluence around 51 cents now the 78.6 extension is also possible and we talk about dollar already i think below between 51 and 1 between 51 cents and 1 dollar would be an ideal target for target for circle wave 1 so i'm going to follow that going forward i gave you key support against that support level that i mentioned the current wave count is valid Below that, we have to reinterpret the chart. The start of that move up suggests it is a third wave rally and it would align with our wave count. Also, the price broke above a key breakout point. So yeah, I keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.